News, your one-stop shop for all your weekly Eatsy news. Let's dig into it for the first week of March. So, 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 so. Firstly, let's share some kind of good news. We've been digging into top shops. This is using E-Rank. And uh, yeah, I wanted to showcase what the top shop on Eatsy yesterday was. Very interesting indeed. Beat all the all the regular names. Arrows Gift Co. Limited. Now I don't do a massive deep dive into any of these shops to see if they're trademark infringing or anything, but we're just looking at some of the biggies. And as we can see from on the right hand side there, their sales history, February they've been their best month in a very long time and that is amazing they've nearly made half a million sales so they're definitely not a tiny one and they're coming up for 10 years old nine nine or eight years i can't do the maths that quickly um yeah paper party supplies shop and i had a quick look um a lot of what's showing up at the top just now is mother's day cards which is fantastic and a little something that i've been banging on to you you eat sea sellers about if you sell mother's day stuff and you can sell internationally uk mother's day is way ahead of the rest of the world so you could get sales in in advance i predict that come us mother's day this is a uk shop but i predict that come us mother's day if these guys ship internationally for that number of sales i'm guessing they do they are going to hold the market for mother's day stuff so looks well done the fact that a lot of their stuff is funny personalized cards is a really good thing because i know a lot of card sellers including my mother have been struggling so sales of cards are going on it does seem to be print on demand but they are open about all of that they have all their shop members in there which is two designers and one person dealing with customers so and the the company doing the printing for them um yeah they do seem to have some mugs and other things but the big thing at the minute is their cards so they had a massive amount of sales yesterday beat all the big guys so one to keep an eye on i guess um now this is a weird one because in the eatsy financial report a couple of weeks ago they mentioned this, but they mentioned it in a way that I really thought it was something that already existed that I'd missed, but it's not. It's a new thing. So when someone buys on Etsy and they purchase something as a gift, you may have known if you leave the option, they can click um, gift, gift message and you can print out or handwrite a gift message for them. Uh, they can a lot of people do that because they think they're going to miss customs by clicking gift it's not the case but that means they can send it to get it sent directly to their friend and um, you can even include the option for gift wrapping but in the financial report they did mention something about the friend that it's being sent to getting some exciting messages and i I just realized that this is a brand new thing that's just come out. So basically you see on the left here, uh, Lisa gets a, <coughs> a message saying, Lisa, you got a gift from Etsy. Um, surprise, Lisa sent you something. Lisa got you, can't even read. Lisa sent you something special. Track your gift and receive your special note from Lisa. So when shoppers are buying a gift on Etsy, they can mark it as a gift and include a gift message. And the gift message can now be used in two ways. The personalized message, um, this is the normal one. If an order is marked as gift and the buyer includes a gift message, that personalized note is included on the packing ship. You just print it out. That's what it's always been. Or a gift teaser. Buyers also have the option to create a gift teaser to send directly to the recipient. There's nothing you need do. If you don't have gift messages enabled in your shop, the buyer will only be able to add a note to their gift teaser. So you don't even have to have gift messages enabled. There's no action required on your end. If the buyer creates a gift teaser, you'll see the gift message badge on your on your order. Shoppers won't see the option to send a gift teaser when purchasing a digital item. So that's good if they're buying something as a gift for somebody else. 
the customer can make their own little thing. I believe it can have a little picture to say, here's the thing that's coming. They can pass on the tracking. That all sounds good. It seems to come directly from Etsy. Um, I don't know. I assume the customer doesn't need to have an Etsy account. They'll get an email. My little tiny worry. So anyone who's had this sent to them or yeah, we're, we're going to have to test this somehow that Etsy now has the email of that customer and will spam them as much as we are getting spammed. I hope not because obviously there's laws about signing up for a mailing list. Um, so let me know what you think. I think it could be cool and cute and yes, it's nice. You're getting something sent. Here's the tracking number. That could be cool, but I wonder how that's going to work for those of us who don't use tracking numbers, but it's going to be interesting. Um, it's a cool thing to get the branding of Etsy across, but I don't think they're telling us what shop it came from. Not sure. We'll see. Um, did a little digging into Etsy in the news and Casey Musgraves, who I don't know at all, is doing her own little, we call it a mood board, but she's she's picked some items. Um, she seems like a singer, popular and everything. And her picks are very, very cottagecore again. Cottagecore is back there in the wild once again. Um, lots of quilting, natural wood, crochet. <laughs> crochet is huge just now as well. Um, yeah, very interesting. But the other piece of Etsy in the news, which was... Um, interesting for me. I didn't even know this was a thing. A website called Synth Anatomy. Etsy has become a hotbed of audio plugin piracy. People saying that you can sell software on Etsy. I wasn't even aware this was a thing. When I search for it, I don't really see anything in Etsy policies or anything. It's a digital download, I guess. But um, this website was saying... They've been observing it. People are selling cracked software and it may contain fresh malware, spyware or other viruses. I guess that's very possible. Um, I don't know if the digital downloads would automatically give you the ability to download software, but people could sell things that downloads a PDF with a link to where you go to get your software and that would no way Etsy would be able to check that. So I don't know how big an issue it is, but don't buy software on Etsy. Um, there's no protection for that kind of thing, unless I'm missing something totally here. But yes, this is brand new. I've never heard of software being sold on Etsy. I don't think I like it. Um, that's it for this week anyway not too many horrible scary things from Etsy but did I miss anything I have been sitting on a beach for a couple of days let me know in the comments below and I will see you next week